New tonight kicked and punched on Halloween night. A San Antonio man says he was attacked by another driver after a car crash. And police say that driver pulled the victim out of his car and beat him. Tonight, Kids 5 reporter Mike Jimenez is live in the newsroom after speaking with the victim. Mike. Henry EC's 20 year old Ismael Perez says after the accident, he started recording the driver because he didn't feel safe. So to avoid any confrontation, he went to his car, but that's when he says things got ugly. He opens the door and he starts yelling at me and that's when he he drags me out and I'm like holding on to my to the car and anything to try not to let him drag me out. Betta says the incident happened after a house party on Halloween night. Betta says he was driving past a south side home that was hosting the party when his car was hit. I was on driving on the road. A car, a truck, a dually 350 had backed up into me. Betta says he confronted the driver who didn't want to exchange information and he says he felt something wasn't right. So he started recording with his phone. He was like kind of touching my face like you could tell he was either intoxicated or on something. He wasn't acting normal. Feeling threatened, Betta's went back to his car to wait for police. He says he tried locking the doors, but his locks were damaged during the crash. So the driver was able to open his door. Betta's believes he wanted his phone. He throws me on the ground and uh, I know he started punching me and uh, he started I know he I remember him kicking my like my eye like that, like and just punching me and then he had stepped on my hand. Betta says the driver took off after others from the party came out to help. I was screaming my lungs out. Betta says he had to go to the hospital where he suffered a concussion. Betta's his car was also damaged, so to help with repairs and medical bills, he started a GoFundMe. The suspect has not been identified, but Betta says the man's truck was new and he was able to get the dealership information from the video. He says the dealership is cooperating. Betta says there was also a passenger in the truck, so he's hoping she will come forward so he can have justice. It's not a good thing for her to be hiding it. None of this should have happened the way it happened. Now, police say the driver is facing charges of assault and failure to stop and give information. If you would like to help Betta's on his road to recovery, we have posted the GoFundMe link on our website at kins5.com. Just click on the story. Mike Kins 5.